Hi everyone and welcome back to another uh, video here from our family run French polishing workshop in Harrogate. Um, today we're just going to show you how to make a fad, which is a rubber. That's another term which you might have heard for it, a mouse. Um, basically it's called a fad. The term is rubbering. Uh, it's a French polisher's tool. I'm going to show you how to make it. Real simple things you just need are... Some cotton wool, some nice cloth, you can see here this piece, there we go look, and it's a nice cross weave cotton cloth, when I say cross weave when you hold it up to the light you can just see through it that nice crisscross and that when you apply that fad onto the furniture it's going to just let the polish come through evenly, so there's some nice cloth nice big piece of wool. I'm going to just show you a few things, a few tips, a few hints, real simple to make one of these but this is the most important thing which you'll make because it will make the job just so much easier. You can use this for so many things. Don't listen to anybody else about what this is used for. My dad's used one for 50 years and as he keeps on reminding me he's the, the last of the time served master craftsman but um, this is the way to do it. It's simple, this will help you out a lot. So the first thing you need to do is, if you can remember, if you've watched one of the other videos, you will have made some French polish. If you haven't made it, you can just use some, but here's the stuff which I made in the last vid. There, this is all nice. You're just going to need some French polish. And you need just a bit of mess, and then just maybe just a little bit of oil if you want it. If you don't want to use any of that, you just want to use French polish. You, you can. So the first thing you need to do is pour some French polish into a tub. This is the stuff I made the other day, it's nice. Beautiful. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the big wad of um, cotton wool Try and get it out in one even piece if you can. If you get it in lumps, then when you start to use it and it gets wet and you start to work it, it's called charging the rubber. When you start to do that, you'll end up with a quite a lumpy rubber, so try and get it into one piece if you can. Okay, then simply fold it so that the point, there's a point at the front, see here, and then tuck in these back bits like this. There, okay. So you've made some sort of shaped mouse for now. Okay, I'll pull it apart again, show you from this side. Into a point, and then just tuck these bits round here. So you've made this shape. So it's all about this sort of pad at the, the bottom there. Okay, get your cloth. Just sit this in your cloth, like this. Okay, so the cloth's over. And now, where that pointy bit is at the front, pinch there, look, fold around, fold around, and fold around, and then twist this round, okay? And there, you've made the start of a nice rubber. Don't make tiny little balls, don't make all the little weird ones you see there. You see these people with little pots of oils and polishes, and then they've got all these little balls. It's, it's the wrong thing to do, it's because the reason why you need to make the show is because it's going to become so versatile, you're going to have this nice padded area at the bottom, it's going to be for bigger tops and table tops, when you want to get into corners of things you're going to be able to pinch this because you've made this nice mouse shape so you'll be able to work yourself into the corner, corner of things, rub, this is the best thing you'll ever use. So we've got that basic shape, open it back up, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to feed it now. So we're going to pour some polish into this. Okay. So don't worry if it's messy or, you know, just a little bit, a bit at a time. Like this. I spill everything, it's fine. So again, just work it around again. And what we're going to do is, because we're getting some polish into this now, you'll see the cloth is the same colour, we're just starting to wet the inside of this and we're getting that cotton wool inside to make the shape of the fad. It's starting to turn, so it wants to be that nice pointy. 
Okay. So open it up. Get some nice polish in. There we go. Okay, so what you have now is you've got this shape arriving. See my wrap, I've wrapped it round. Do you see? So I'll show you that. Once I've got that pinch, we'll call it a mouse, so we'll put a pinch there. Which is twisting, 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 and then one big loop round. So that, that part is going to sit into there, you see? And then your hands round. And that's going to be the perfect shape. Now you'll feel that this is getting nice and malleable now. You can move this however you want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dip this into the polish. And we're charging the rubber now. Charging. You can see this polish is nicely coming out. Nicely coming out. Okay. So what you've got now is a nice rubber now charged. And when you press here on all these, it's putting moisture and polish onto this. And what you can keep on doing, always be working the rubber, opening it up and twisting it round flat like you can tap it against there before each use and you'll get that nice fat flat pad. And then these nice corners, see there you'll be able to go in into the corner round. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm just going to show you a quick rubbering method so you know how to use this um, fad and a few tricks and hints and tips. Okay, cool. So good things to do is to keep your fad inside a, a jar, okay, um, glass jar like that. If you're not going to use it for a few months, it'll dry out a bit, but that's fine. You can just add a little bit more mess or some French polish when you start to use it again. Mess is really, really good for softening up your, your rubber. That's only if you're not going to use it for a long amount of time. An important thing which nobody will tell you about these is... The only thing you'll ever need to change with this once you've made it is the cloth on the outside because it will wear out after a while but um, don't change the inside of this the longer you keep this cotton wool the fad part of it inside it charges really really well and that is going to be the sort of main help for you one of these new are fine but they're very soft after a while you'll get used to the way you use these and you'll you'll work your own shape and you'll you'll find out which is nicest for your hand and, and the type of things which you're working on but keep the inside of that and only ever change the outside okay I bored you with that for long enough but I'm gonna just show you a nice way to apply some polish the beautiful thing about this other than a, a brush or a mop is the, it, it's such a, a, a thin amount which comes out of this and it's, and it's that build up of layers that gives you that French polished finish, that hand finish, that glassy finish. Okay. So charge it up with a bit of polish. So all I've done really is just dipped it in, squeezed out the excess. It feels like it's got a nice weight, and we can just put some. <laughs> surfaces like this you can't really do it for very long because you'll feel the polish start to pull but you can certainly get a nice few layers on like this when you've got enough polish on I'll show you the next thing we're gonna do we're just gonna 
add a bit of oil and this is going to help us work the polish in. So today I'm just using some white oil. I don't like to use linseed oil a lot. It's just a bit harsh but white oil is really really easy to use and it works well with the rubber. And then just flick your polish, flick your, your oil on, a little bit on there. Okay, and then some figure of eights. finish off in straight lines because you'll pull the character of the eights out of the polish stone. Okay, so that's looking pretty fruity. We're just going to leave it for five minutes there to go off now, then we'll give it one more rubber, I'll hold it up to the screen. If you use too much oil, you'll notice at the start of the bit I said have a bit of meth spare. This is a good thing, you can put a little bit of meth into the rubber, not a lot, just a, just a tiny bit. What it'll do is it'll just burn out a bit of the oil as you work with, with it. It's pretty simple, you could just literally just do a few of them just give it a tap. If there's a bit too much polishing, look, it falls out. That's it. And then just practice on that build on that it's simple it's rocket science these vids are not designed to to baffle you know this is a real simple process it's been used for hundreds and hundreds of years it's never changed it's just oils it's just waxes it's just polish it's simple cloths tools it's just working with wood I can do it I say this to everyone believe me if I can do it you can do it don't be scared it's simple just keep on practicing with little bits and have a go and you know hopefully I'm helping a little bit okay I've got to go to work. Bye.